It's always nice to see what is happening in Japan. But today, we are looking at Japan's most viral weather girl. But who is Hayama Saya and what shocking reasons did she become Japan's most viral weather girl? Hayama started her fame on the 17th of October 2018 at Weather News Live. Now, Weather News Live is no ordinary weather channel. It's a 24-hour online weather spectacle hosted exclusively by young Japanese women. This show holds a significant place in Japan, boasting a very loyal audience. Their YouTube channel is a testament to their popularity, with over 1 million subscribers tuning in. As Hayama Saya graced the screen, she began capturing the hearts of the loyal audience, predominantly Japanese men. <laughs> she was the perfect blend of relatability and charm. She shared her love for video games, showcased a bit of a nerdy side, and radiated acuteness. Each time she appeared on the show, her fan base swelled. It wasn't long before she became one of the biggest and most beloved weather girls on the channel. Her online presence and interviews painted her as single, a notion that only fueled her popularity further. Her fan base stretched across Japan, reaching even the most remote corners. Men, young and old, made it a ritual to tune in regularly to catch a glimpse of Hayama. The more she appeared, the more the nation fell for her, solidifying her status as not just a weather girl, but a phenomenon. At the time, this sweet weather girl had no idea that her rising fame was just the start of what was about to come. Over the years, Hayama Sia broadcasts had their share of viral moments, a clip showcasing her professional shift from a light-hearted discussion on shogi to reporting an unfolding earthquake swiftly made its rounds on social media. On YouTube, this video skyrocketed, amassing over 30 million views. <laughs> Then there was another viral snippet that caught the audience's fancy. A charming hiccup where she said morning instead of evening during a news bulletin, despite being released just last year. This video has already garnered over 17 million views. The year 2022 brought forth another wave of attention thanks to her delightful cosplay from Spy X Family. The internet was loving it, with over 170,000 likes and 27,000 retweets celebrating her cosplay venture. By now, Hayama wasn't just a weather girl. She was a sensation with an army of loyal fans. Her reach extended beyond Japan, captivating hearts globally tallying millions of die-hard supporters. There was fan art and t-shirts, and some even redesigned their car to show their support for Japan's most popular weather girl. As the star continued to rise, so did the opportunities knocking at her door. In a remarkable collaboration, the company Sharp unveiled the Hayama Air purifiers. These weren't just any purifiers. They were imbued with her voice and carried her signature, making them an instant hit among her devoted audience fans started to feel restless. They wanted more. They wanted to meet her, and so you can imagine how happy they were when it was announced that for the first time in five years, the Weather Channel decided to do a fan meetup live. Think of this like a meet and greet. However, this euphoria was short-lived. Despite the ticket price hovering just under $50, the tickets vanished in the blink of an eye, all snatched up in mere moments, leaving many hearts aching and hopes dashed. But here's where things started getting a bit strange. Just a week before the big meet and greet, she suddenly stopped appearing on the channel. But why? Fans were confused. Comments began pouring in from all corners of social media and forums demanding answers. Was she kidnapped? Was she sick? Nobody knew. Then she was spotted, but not where anyone expected. She was in this tiny little country called the United Kingdom. Yeah, that's right. And she was watching tennis of all things, 
Fans were puzzled, as she always seemed like the geeky type, a girl who'd rather be at home playing video games. What was she doing in the UK at a tennis match? As fans dug deeper, they noticed something quite odd. She was sitting in the VIP section. Now, if you don't follow tennis, these seats are usually for very close friends and family. And the match she was watching, it was between Daniel Galen and Nishioka Yoshito, with Nishioka being one of the top tennis players from Japan. Soon enough, more information and footage surfaced confirming that Hayama was in the UK to be a special friend to Nishioka. It was a twist that no one saw coming. Given what we've uncovered, how do you think the fans took the news? Were they riding the wave of happiness and support? Far from it, fans were anything but pleased. Some were caught in the whirlpool of denial, others were shell-shocked, and a few plummeted straight into a pit of despair. To add salt to the wound, doubts began circling her choice of men. Clips of him wrecking tennis rackets in fury began making rounds online and across social media, painting a not-so-rosy picture. She found herself cornered into making a public announcement to address the swirling speculations and calm the storm that had been stirred. To all my wonderful supporters, I wanted to share some personal news with you that you may have already seen in a few reports. I'm currently in a relationship with the professional tennis player Nishioka Yoshito. We both look forward to nurturing our bond and supporting each other in the days to come. Your continued warmth and encouragement mean the world to us. It might seem like a minor hiccup, but for the bigwigs at the top, it was a tremor that shook the business to its core. I know, but as crazy as it sounds, overnight the stock plummeted by 10%. As the dust began to settle, after some time, Hayama Sia made her come back to the channel, but the atmosphere was unlike before. The moment she appeared on screen, the chat section exploded. It was a torrent of reactions, but among them, the tennis balls emoji stood out. The concept might seem alien in the landscapes of the US, UK, or other Western territories, but in the vast expanse of Asia, the idolization of celebrities is a common phenomenon. Fans often indulge in a fantasy where their beloved idols are attainable, a dream that shatters when the idol's heart is taken. The revelation often doesn't sit well with the admirers, leaving them grappling with the reality that their idol is no longer single. Now, Turn your attention towards the weather business, a realm where the forecast isn't the only thing that's looked forward to. It's a domain where fans form attachments to the faces delivering the forecast. The channels often hold auditions, meticulously scouting for faces that resonate with the audience, a tactic to keep the fan base hooked and the viewer count ticking. Dive a bit deeper and you'll stumble upon a rigid framework that governs the lives of idols in Japan. A no dating rule looms over their heads, a binding clause aimed at preserving an image of purity and availability for their adoring fans. But as with any rule, violations are bound to occur, and when they do, the ripple effects are felt far and wide. Idols found breaching this unwritten code often find themselves at the mercy of public opinion, forced to bow down in apologies to their fans. For Hayama, oh by the way, I do apologize for the pronunciation, I'm sure I've said it differently every time. But anyways, for Hayama, the tides appear to be turning in her favor once more. The storm of negative attention has simmered down and her social media platforms are buzzing with positivity. As she navigates through the calm after the storm, one can't help but ponder what's next for Hayama.